I'm excited about what, what we're going to be rocking and rolling with this year. The players are excited. Coaches are excited. Let's go protect this house, baby. Offensive coordinator Chenis Berry calling on the old Under Armour ad campaign as the Jaguars get ready to protect this house in 2018. Dawson Odoms took it a step further, saying his team needs to protect the bluff. Whether you believe the new gear gets the Jags ready for greatness or not, it's clear the guys are loving their new Jag swag. I like swag a lot. Switch it up a little. I may wear a sleeve here, may wear two sleeves, a band. Definitely excited when we heard that we were getting the Under Armour. Jerseys, that's it. Wear my gloves, my wrist tape, and my socks. In. Try to razzle dazzle my, my swag a little bit. As long as my jersey fits right and my pants ain't, aren't too big, I'm all right. We saw um, one set, I think it was our waist set of jerseys. I love them. I love them. Can't wait to be in them. The guys are going crazy when the coach was showing them the stuff. They're going to be excited when they put the uh, jerseys on for the first time and get to run out in that new uniform. We're waiting to see what everything is going to look like when we, first, when we play our first game. Kids, are, the guys are excited about it because they say if you look good, you feel good, and you play good. Under Armour is a nice brand to be in, so look good, you play good. It has added a bit of energy. Yeah, it definitely brings a different type of energy. A lot of energy. And uh, we got to protect that house. You got a chance for a partnership that could last for a long time. And when that happens, it creates greatness. Plenty of excitement for all that new UA gear on the bluff, but maybe no one as excited as the man who gets to dish it out. Derek Price is getting ready to leave the Jaguars after 27 years as the equipment manager. He's been around the program even longer as a player and an assistant coach. 42 years in total. Steve Schneider gives us a look at the man they call Coach P. We will not win him anymore. He's been on campus since the early 70s. So Derek Price has seen it all. The helmet that I wore when I got here. Wasn't a leather helmet, and it had a face mask. Okay. <laughs> It's an old Rydell suspension helmet. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It actually had no padding in it whatsoever. And not just equipment the players wear, equipment coaches use, like Stump Mitchell's headsets at Alabama A&M. Coaches all of a sudden go berserk. Headphones go out. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. I go to the box and look. Not a problem with the belt packs or anything. It's no power. At Huntsville, we had to plug up in the concession stand. The guy said, oh yeah, coach, I had to pull that out, the chili got cold. <laughs> so I had to pull your card out to plug my chili back up. Mitchell wasn't too upset, but some over the years have been demanding, like the godfather, Marino Castle. Oh, the first day when he came to me, he said, Price, that game field is terrible. We need to get it redone, you in charge of it. I knew nothing about grass. <laughs> And this was the 1st of June, and we played in September, and he wanted to feel redone. As far as the gearing up, it's been a career of ups and downs for Price. Up in Atlanta. 1995, we were with Star. And at that time, Starter was big. You know, everybody had to have Starter gear and everything. And they shipped me brand new uniforms for the Heritage Bowl. And that was the first time in many, many years that Southern will go. And we came out in gold jerseys and man, it was just beautiful, I thought. Down in Indianapolis at the Circle City Classic. The worst one, we dabbled with a company called Fergo. We opened up the box and I took out about five jerseys and the numbers fell off as I was taking them out the box. <laughs> then I ran into another five or so that had one number on the front and a different number was on the back. Luckily, I had packed another set of jerseys to take with, with us up there because I wasn't sure if those jerseys were going to get there in time. Worst thing ever. One of the things I wanted to do before I left here was, man, we got to get a contract with one of these big companies. The kids deserve it. And I think the best feeling I had was the day the team reported this year, and they had their first team meeting, and we unveiled the uniforms to them, and man, it was like, oh my God, it was like a ride, and they were so happy, and it just, it makes you feel good. We're heading into our final Gearing Up for Greatness segment. When we come back, we take a look at the entire 10-game schedule for the Jags, so you, the fans, can plan to follow them every step of the way. We wrap up our season special. Don't go anywhere. 